isn't that? Congratulations, Dad. How are very happy with the outcome of the case and it looks like I'm not having to retire from my day job after all but at the same time I'm unbelievably frustrated that baseless claims like this are allowed to go to court at all. We have spent the last eight years talking about two songs with dramatically different lyrics, melodies and four chords which are also different and used by songwriters every day all over the world. These chords are common building blocks which were used to create music long before Let's Get It On was written and will be used to make music long after we are all gone. They are in a songwriter's alphabet, our toolkit, and should be there for all of us to use. No one owns them, or the, or the way they are played, in the same way that nobody owns the colour blue. Unfortunately, unfounded claims like this are being fueled by individuals who are offered as music experts in musical analysis. In this instant, the other side's musicologists left out words and notes, presented simple and different pictures as melody, and by doing so, created what I think we proved for all to see were misleading comparisons and disinformation to find supposed similarities where none exist. And I think we proved for all to see that they tried to manipulate my and Amy's song to try and convince the jury that they had a genuine claim. I'm very grateful that the jury saw through the, those attempts. This may seem, this seems so dangerous to me. Both potential claimants who may be convinced to bring a bogus claim, as well as those songwriters facing them. It's simply wrong. By stopping this practice, we can also properly support genuine music copyright claims, so legitimate claims are rightly heard and resolved. If the jury had decided this matter the other way, we might as well say goodbye to the creative freedom. To be able to write our original music and engage in independent creation without worrying at every step of the way that such creativity will, will, will be wrongly called into question. Like artists everywhere, Amy and I work hard to independently create songs which are often based around real life personal experience. It's devastating to be accused of stealing someone else's song when we put so much work into our livelihoods. I'm just a guy with a guitar who loves writing music for people to enjoy. I am not and will never allow myself to be a piggy bank for anyone to shake. Having to be in New York for this trial has meant that I've missed being with my family at my grandmother's funeral in Ireland and I will never get that time back. These tough trials take a significant toll on everyone involved, including Catherine. I want to thank the jury for making the decision that will help protect the creative process of songwriters here in the United States and all around the world. I also want to thank my team these guys who have supported me throughout this difficult process and to all the songwriters, musicians and fans who have reached out with messages of support over the last few weeks. And finally, I would like to thank Amy. Neither of us ever expected that nine years ago from our wonderful writing session that we will be here having to defend our integrity. integrity. Amy, I feel so lucky to have you in my life. Thank you. We need songwriters and the wider community to come together and bring back common sense. These claims need to be stopped so the creative process can carry on and we can all go back to making music. And at the same time, we absolutely need trusted individual, individuals, real experts, who help support the process of protecting copyright. Thank you. How do you feel that? How do you feel? Great.